Hey guys, my name is Trocity and welcome to another bonus episode, bonus video of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In this bonus video, we're going to be taking on a big guy over here, Immovable Gonzalez. Now, I attempted to fight this guy, I think, earlier in the series, but obviously I couldn't defeat him because he was so high leveled. He is level 90. And we're going to fight him being on level 97. So first off, let me start off by saying that this fight is not difficult uh, for me at all. Um, this was my first attempt, and the first attempt was a success. But let me go ahead and talk about this big dude here. First of all, um, he's another enemy that attacks all over the place on the ground, rampaging, hitting the floor. So a lot of you see right there, this attack hits everybody. This actually ends up killing me and almost killing Nia. That was a very strong attack he did. But anyways, as per usual, my goal here is to set up a uh, fire. Uh, that's what we're doing here. I'm trying to get Nia to do her Steam Bomb level 2. Nia has been really bad at doing that, guys. So I give it to Pyra because I'm like, you know what? We'll just give it to Pyra and have her take care of this. So we get break on him. Always, 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 if you get break or any of those effects, take advantage of it. I topple him. I go for the... Uh, why does my phone keep going on and off? I go for the double spinning edge, and I'm actually giving this to uh, Mithra. I don't really know why I gave it to Mithra. I think I just preferred using her over uh, Pyra to start off. So anyways, I give it to Mithra first to get our first uh, orb here, which will be light. So we get that off first, and it does uh, pretty decent damage, I guess. Now, this music, by the way, is really good, guys. It's one of my favorites from the game. Um, really, really love it. As always, get the topple, get the launch, get all of that off. It's always important to do that. I'm going to give this to... Um, I'm going to give this to... I thought I was going to give this to Tora. Apparently, I did something wrong here. I was supposed to let Tora do it and then switch to uh, Rock, which I failed to do there. But anyways, my uh, goal here at this point is to get off the... Um, it's to get off the... Why does my phone keep turning on and off? What the hell is going on with that? My goal here is to get Rock's uh, level 3 off, obviously. And I managed to pull it off. Final disaster. Nice. Yeah, I was like... I had my phone on the charger and it kept going on and off. And that was really bugging me. I'm trying to, like, focus here on this post commentary. Uh, anyways, we get wind off. And it's time to set up the next element here. So... Uh, we're going to go ahead and see which one that is. So we get that off. I already know that I am going to go for... Was it Agate? I think I went for Agate here. I'm almost positive I went for Agate. That makes the most sense for me to go for Agate instead of Pyra. Um, I'm pretty sure I did. I don't actually remember. I'm trying to get my level up. Man, guys, I can't... I think I am. Did I? Guys, I can't actually remember if I switched to Pyra here or if I switched to Agate. I, I want to say I switched to... Yep, I did switch to Agate. Okay. I recorded this earlier, guys. Earlier in the day, I'm doing this post-commentary at 11 at night. <laughs> so I don't actually remember. Okay, so we do go for Agate and we give it to Nia for her to get her Lightning Quake. Now, here's the problem, right? Uh, Nia is nowhere near close to getting that lightning off, unfortunately, and I get really, really desperate here. So I switch to Mithra, get the topple, and I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I don't want to wait on Nia. I really don't want to give it the opportunity to uh, miss this. So what I do here, which is not... See, Nia's not even ready. I switch to Numa because I'm like, I want to get this off. We switch to Numa and go for the level 3. I really wish that I waited on this. I really do, guys. It would have been smarter if I waited, but Nia was taking forever, and I did not want to lose that lightning combo, so uh, I go for Numa. I would recommend doing that a little, you know, later on, or if you're struggling to get any combos off, but uh, yeah. Anyways, we're doing pretty good. I give it to Numa one more time. I think at this point, my next goal is to get the fi Oh, yeah, fire. So at this point... We're going to go for fire. I should have went for water. Honestly, guys, I should have went for water, but I didn't. You'll you'll see why. I really would have wished I did that. But anyways, uh, he's spinning around in the air at the moment. He's like launched up in the air. Uh, we're going for a level three here. I'm actually literally looking forward to it. Yep, there we go. We're going for second sun on Numa. I'm giving it to Numa. She's going to do that right now after we get burnt to death. <laughs> so this is second sun level three getting that nice damage off we're also getting healed as well uh, i have an accessory on rex that gives him 20 percent health 
every time he uh, gets a critical, which is really, really useful. I find it to be a very useful accessory in these kind of fights where we're fighting for a long time and the enemy is dishing out so much damage. But anyways, um, at this point, I'm like, okay, what's next? What's next? We got lightning. We need fire. All right, so we lose Numa. I switch quickly to Pyra. I'm doing a lot of switches here. Switch to Pyra, get the level two off. Now we need level three uh, Earth. So I really hope that Tora is close to getting that. I don't remember if I'm the one who does it or if he does. I'm, I'm pretty positive that it's Tora who gets it off. I don't remember. Honestly, I don't guys. I, I think it is him. Yes, it is. Okay, so I give this to Tora. Going for that Earth, right? Giving it to good old Poppy Alpha here. She's gonna go up in the air, do her thing. That gets us Earth. So at this point, we have Earth, we have Lightning, we have Fire, we have Wind. I think the next one I wanna get is Ice. So I know that I'm missing Ice right here. I go for a level four. It's not too often that I do this, guys, but I'm doing a level four uh, Burning Sword here. Gets off some good damage, good heals as well, even though we didn't need it. Um, all right, so at this point, I'm like, okay, Give it to uh, Nia, because I want to get uh, Diamond Mist off and get that ice. We haven't gotten ice yet, um, so we're doing that now. So, Tora is looking pretty good, but we also have Nia here. <laughs> now, at this point, guys, um, I want one of them to do it. I'm like, one of you guys needs to get Diamond Mist off. So, what I actually end up doing is I'm spamming both my ZL and ZR button. Like, I'm spamming both buttons at the same time, hoping that one of them pulls it off. So... At this moment in time, I'm like spamming my controller. Like, come on, one of you get it. One of you, either one. I, I don't care who does it. Someone needs to get Diamond Mist off. Tora, Nia, one of you. So I'm spamming. And uh, who gets it? Who gets it? Who gets it? Who gets it? Nia gets it. So yeah, Nia gets her Diamond Mist off uh, eventually here. There she goes. Oh, Ursula with her berry. Look at them doing that little spin there. Nice. I don't know why, guys. I'm, like, in the mood to do post-commentary videos of these, like, unique enemies and uh, super bosses. This is a unique enemy, guys. This is not a super boss. I'm going to make sure that that says that in the title. This is not a super boss. This is a unique enemy. Uh, a super boss is any enemy whose level is over a, over 100. This guy's obviously under 100, so it's not a super boss. I mean, it feels like a super boss because he's really tough, but not really, no. Anyways, at this point, guys, I'm missing water. I don't have water, and I really, really want to get water. Uh, I kind of, um, I get a little desperate here. I don't need water, but I would like it. I, I kind of sound like, <laughs> like I'm thirsty, but no, no. Like, I actually want to get the, I want to get water off, but I know that I really can't. So, I actually, uh, at this point, I'm like, you know what? Like, a chain attack would be fine. I mean, we got, like you know, all the orbs off that I could get off. Um, actually, no, I forgot. We were missing dark. All right, so we do dark here. I completely forgot about dark. <laughs> I always forget about dark and water. I told you guys, I have a hard time getting those two elements off. I, I, I don't know why. I really struggle with that. Anyways, at this point, I'm like, okay, Nia, go for your water. I'm like, water is the next one we need. So water, you see there, I need to do three waters to get it off i need level one a level two and a level three at this point i don't have numa anymore guys i've already used numa so i can't use her i can only use numa once per fight so uh yeah I, unfortunately i can't do that so i let nia do her venom attack here um but you see here right i have to hope to dare god that nia can get her level three in time but that's kind of difficult because now she has to start with level one and then she has to go to level two. So it's really hard at this point for Nia to get her level three off. But I do see it being possible. I mean, I don't think Nia has died at any point in this fight. I have. Def I died twice, actually. So Nia's affinity is pretty high. You can see she's got that gold chain going on. She's Her affinity is pretty high. Um, but again, I'm getting whooped here and losing a lot of health. I'm still still desperate, guys. I really want the water element on there. I'm really trying to get it off. Like, you know, it's not it's not easy when you're depending on just Nia to make it happen. Like, I'm depending on Nia to do this all by herself. And um, I never really like to do that because if, if it was me doing it, I could pull it off with no problem. Especially if I have Mithra because Mithra is, like, crazy with the art spams. But... I'm like, dude, there's no way. Like, there's no way I'm going to get water off. There's no way. Like, Nia is just not good with that. She's not good at getting 
a level three off all by herself. Like there's no way. But anyways, we keep attacking, hoping for the best here because I know I'm gonna win the fight. Like I know I can win this this fight, but I really want Nia to do her water, and she does. She actually does get it off. Splash Hazard. So. We got it all, guys. We got water, fire, ice, wind, lightning, earth, dark, light. We're good for a chain attack, so that's exactly what we do here. Um, okay, so at this point, guys, uh, we give it to Agate. As always, Agate's best girl. Everyone knows that. She's always going to break an element orb, no matter what, because I gave her a, uh, a uh, aux core that does that, which is very nice. As always, giving it to Poppy Alpha to make sure no orbs are broken. Give it to Draw Mark next. Now, uh, <laughs> we go for the B here. Now, at this point, guys, um, I put my controller down just for a second just to uh, respond to a text message, uh, a very important one. So I had to, like, drop my phone or drop my controller for a second here. But it was only for a second, and then I get back into action. <laughs> I, I had to get back into action. Now we're in overkill. He's already dead. Like, there's no way he's coming back from this. Uh, Gonzalez is dead, guys. He's got no health left. So uh, now we're like just doing as much bonus damage as we can. I was really hoping, guys, that we would get a lot of um, bonus XP, but uh, unfortunately we didn't get a lot from this fight. I'll tell you right now, it was not a lot of XP. I wish it was more because I'm so close to level 99. I mean, Nia is about to hit it. Uh, anyways, um, Rock going for the... Uh, the ice there I, at this point right i keep saying at this point i'm very distracted guys i'm distracted because i'm thinking about something while i'm in the middle of this fight and uh that thing i was thinking about um i'll talk about that later but basically the thing i was thinking about uh actually turned out very well for me i'm actually very happy about it <laughs> who i was speaking with about it anyways uh enough of that anyways we're breaking more orbs here um we need to uh, break something here. So, Agate, no pressure. You do your thing. Break something. I don't care what you break. Oh, she breaks. Uh, Was that water? No. I can't tell what that was. Was that fire? I think that was fire. Anyways, full burst. Here we go. Let's do it. We're going to be doing out a lot of damage, getting that bonus up. He's already dead, guys, so I don't even care anymore. I just want to get more and more bonus XP. But unfortunately, guys, it's not a lot. And this is a team combo with Agate and Rex, which is really cool. That was not a lot of XP. That, what was that? 7,000? Really? Anyways, we won the fight. We did it. We kicked butt. Um, yes, that's right. If you guys want to know what's behind Mr. Gonzalez here, well, actually, there's nothing behind him. Um, just this treasure chest that has... Uh, a regular core crystal. Yeah, that's all that's behind him. I wish it was a gold chest, but it's not. But anyways, guys, uh, and dropping down here, there's just a cave that had all the bats and stuff. And apparently a location I've never discovered before, so there you go. But with that being said, guys, that's it for this unique enemy. Uh, so, you know, unmovable. Unmovable Gonzalez. We kicked his ass, you know, that's all that matters. So, yeah, uh, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. And be sure to stay tuned because I'm probably going to be making more of these because I'm actually really enjoying it. So, um, yeah, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share. And smash that subscribe button for more. Remember to watch out for more <laughs> live streams and videos from Tracity. And I'll see you guys next time. Uh, the video had an abrupt end there, but bye-bye. <laughs>